Did you know that marine mammals gave up on a gene that they now need to survive living in polluted waters? There's a gene called PON1, which is in all mammals, and it allows us to make an enzyme that detoxifies the harmful chemicals found in pesticides. Organophosphates were, and in some places still are, used heavily in agriculture. It's not great stuff. It's also used as a nerve agent, like sarin gas. Our PON1 gene works just fine. It allows us to make an enzyme which circulates in our blood. This PON1 enzyme protects us by detoxifying any organophosphates if they find their way into our body. When we were kids, we had lower PON1 activity, and this is why children are more susceptible to these pollutants. In fact, all land mammals have that protective PON1 enzyme in their blood. Birds, fish, reptiles and insects don't. That's one of the reasons why they're so susceptible to pesticides. But although marine mammals still have copies of the PON1 gene, it doesn't work. That means they can't make that protective enzyme anymore. Their PON1 gene became damaged, whereas our gene and those of all land mammals that we know of, it remained intact. Now this is the cool part. Most of the marine mammal groups have damaged PON1 genes. And you might think of marine mammals as all being related, but they're not. Marine mammals evolved from different groups and at different times. It was about 50 million years ago that a dog-like mammal returned to the sea and eventually evolved into whales and dolphins. About the same time, an early cousin of the elephant gave rise to dugongs and manatees. Seals, sea lions and walruses were later, around about 20 million years later, and they evolved from a bear-like creature. So these were different groups of mammals that lived completely different ways, yet they all decided to give up on the PON1 gene. So it's a nice example of convergent evolution. These different unrelated groups all thought it was a great thing to do, so presumably there was some benefit for mammals that lived in the sea. So evolution is interesting. The traits that are best for the environment we live in right now are the ones that give us an advantage. So they're the ones that tend to hang around. So presumably, keeping that gene in good functioning order was just not important if you were a marine mammal living in the water. But we change their environment and quickly. Organophosphates now find their way into our waterways and then out to sea. They hang around and move up through the food chain, accumulating into high toxic doses in top predators, animals like marine mammals. But marine mammals gave up the ability to make that protective enzyme. They can no longer detoxify those harmful chemicals that now accumulate in their waterways. So giving up on the primary mammalian defense against organophosphate toxicity is no longer an evolutionary benefit in the modern marine world. This comes at a time that our oceans are becoming increasingly polluted by pesticides. So in the short term, evolution is not always a good thing.